Greetings everyone and welcome today to our Tuesday Club. I'm Maura Stiles and I'm the President of the Tiger Settlers Association. Just a couple of little information before we start. We've got our Christmas function on Thursday the 7th of December and it starts at 6.30 for 7. So if you want to go, please reply to Jude. She needs to know a week before there's any special diets. And we also run the raffle, so if you have anything for the raffle, just drop it off at the front desk or at Jude's office. And that would be lovely. Now, today's speaker is Dr. Wendy Lee, and she is going to demonstrate some traditional Indonesian instruments, and you'll see they're all lined up there. And that's really interesting because we had the Maori instruments earlier for those that came, so it'd be good to sort of compare them all. She has a PhD from Otago University. She lectures in world music and performance in the Asia and Pacific region. So welcome, Wendy. Good morning, everyone. Um, thank you so much for taking time to come in this morning for a little bit of Anklong playing. My name is Wendy Lee, and um, yes, I graduated last year, May, yes. And I'm very happy to be here, thank you. So with today's paper, um, I'm gonna tell us, share with you more about Anklong um, from the perspective of an outsider. Personally, I'm a Singaporean. Um, Yes, we may be in Southeast Asia, same as Indonesia, that's where Anklong is from, but still it is an instrument that was foreign to me. Um, so from an outside, outsider perspective, I'm going to share Anklong with you. Um, right, so with today's agenda, without further ado, so I'm going to give you a brief background on Anklong, and we're going to look at the organology of the instrument, and then a little bit about the music mode, and hopefully hence some hands on on the instrument. I've got today only 14 instruments, so we might have to share somehow. Okay? All right. It, can everyone hear me okay? Do I have to speak slower? Because I do know that I understand I have an accent. So if you let me <laughs> No, I can slow down a bit. Okay, Doc. Now, the Yang Klong, a bit of a background. Anklong is a traditional instrument originated from West Java, Indonesia. Um, the bamboo music is a bamboo musical instrument. It's very important in the life of Sudanese, namely they are the indigenous of West Java. Um, now, these bamboo musical instruments are widely used and has a cultural function to it. Now, how does it look like? It looks like this. That's on the table. Let me show you with the biggest one. So this is an example of an anklong. It is a bamboo instrument, okay? Now, this, this instrument is dated as far back as the 8th century. Um, it's been in Java since the Hindu, Hinduism period. It was found in Borobado Temple. That was that picture above or double temper, which is the largest Buddhist temper compound in the world built about 8th century. Now, it is presumed that the development of this bamboo musical instrument, um, it has a close relation with Polonese. So we are not quite sure yet, um, because it's dated so far back, um, but there's this presumption that it's got to do with Polynesian migration before the Christian era that, that arrived in Indonesia. So, so Sudanese used bamboo as a material for musical instruments in honor of Dewi Sri. Dewi Sri, that picture at the bottom. So she is the goddess of rice and agricultural. Traditionally, 
The farmers, at the end of the day, after they do the farming in the fields, they will shake the two or th uh, three or four instruments, you know, to 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 um, bless upon the sacred arable land. And then also, according to the folklore, the anklong was a musical instrument of agricultural festivals. It was also during festivities to arouse the fighting spirits of soldiers. Um, that was the long predating the arrival of Westerners in Indonesia. It was suppressed by the Dutch because it could influence the soldiers to rebel against colonial power. So this is a very powerful instrument that we are looking at. Okay? So in the 1920s, um, it is a toy for children. It become a toy for children. Yeah. Yeah. And then by 1930s, it's degraded as a crook instrument that's played by beggars to attract the attention of passerby. And then recently, uh, it was uh, then brought back, the, the, the attention of this instrument was brought back by a local uh, musician. His name is Daeng Sukna of Bandong. And his, his, he, he put in efforts to resurrect the Anklong of West Java to make it a respectable and popular musical instrument again. A little bit of the organology of the instrument. So as you can see from the picture, it's very easily um, constructed. So this is a percussion instrument. Okay, it is held by this frame here. Okay, and this uh, the whole thing is made by of bamboo. Even the this little twine here are also bamboo that's holding the whole instrument together. The tube are half open, as you can see, they're half open, yes, okay? And then there's this base tube here. This base tube does not move. So, the parts that's moving is this two open tubes, Okay, and as it moves, it hits against the base tube, and that's how the sound is produced. So this crisscross here is where we hold the instrument like that, letting it hang loosely off our fingers, and we grab hold of the base, and we give it a shake. And that's how sound is produced. Okay? <laughs> yeah. So one anklong can only produce one note. This is note. For those who have perfect pitch, I apologize. This is not perfect pitch, but this is relative F. Yeah. Okay? So there you have F. We will have um, some fun later with the anklongs. And because each instrument can only produce one note, it is um, restricted. In a sense, one person can only hold one instrument. But of course, for those who are professional, oh, I've got to go back to the instrument, they could potentially, and I've seen it before, hang it on their wrist yeah, to shake it. Yeah, so they can like, they could hold it like that, you know, I, I'm not good with it, <laughs> really, yeah, yeah, probably, uh, probably a, the bigger one, with the bigger ones I could put my hands or, 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 yeah, through it, there you go, so yeah, so I have seen musicians who hang as many as three on their wrists where they will, you know, yeah, play it. But that's the constraint, yeah. That you cannot, you, you do need an ensemble to play a piece of music. Yeah, you do. Yeah, so that's that constraint, okay? Mm. So with that, good, good time. That leaves us more time for hands on. Okay. Something about the music note. Traditionally, the anklong is too, um, they only make enough to form a pentatonic scale, which is five notes. Um, they, they, they 
the Sudanese characteristic Damina Tila, right? And then it was only um, not long ago that tunes similar to Western music were introduced and modern arrangements were made and um, they have added more instruments and changed that tuning of the instruments and now it's the Western do re mi fa so la ti do. All right, so you have that seven notes over there. So that's all about music mode. Any questions so far? I'll try my best to answer. <laughs> no? All right. Now let's take a look at... Um, is there any way... Is it too small? Are we okay? With this? Or the other way is... Is that YouTube page still on? Because I have that YouTube page. Oh, but you know it's not. Mm -hmm. oh. I should still be there. Okay, because now I've got to um, find it. One minute and fifty, one minute and fifty-seven seconds. Thank you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bigger. All right, just an example of how an ensemble sounds like in Ancon. This is a professional group. Um, yeah, so you, this is how an Ancon orchestra sounds like when everybody plays together. You, and you will see that some of the uh, musicians do have more than one Ancon in their hand.
depends on. There you go. So let's let me bring your attention to these instruments over here. I've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yes, that's right. Just making sure. Just making sure. Again, um, if you have perfect pitch, I apologize. They are not perfectly tuned. Okay, <laughs> because I, I have friends who are perfect, who have her perfect pitch, and they suffer every time when the pitch is not perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think some of you know. Yeah. Um, so yes. Now this set does not. Um, they belong to the University of Canterbury. So what what happened is that I, I, I'm very lucky. Um, they do not have anyone down there who knows how to use it. Um, I, I, do, I went down to University of Canterbury uh, to give some lectures this year, and I saw the Anklong, so I was asking, oh, if nobody is using it, can I have it for a year? So they said, yeah, yeah, you can, as long as you, know, you bring it back to Dunedin and, and give us a report what you do with it. I said, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll bring it back to Dunedin and, and share the joy with the people here. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm very lucky to have one year with this instrument, so I'm bringing it with me around Dunedin to share with the community. So here we have... Um, Note A, again, let it hang on your finger, the long, depend on which hand is your dominant hand. If you're a right-hander, the long tube should be facing right, okay? But if you're a left-hander, then your long tube should be facing left with your left hand shaking the base tube. Does that make sense? Good, okay? We have our understanding, good. So let's hear how it sounds like. This is A, B. Sorry, by the way, they are not in the same octave. I must say it is in still in the tune, but not in the same register. C, A, E. Do I not have no? no. Cause that's all I have got. Cause what happened is Canterbury University has a lot, but I have to sift through everything, and those that are broken, unfortunately, we do not have the professionals here to fix it. So these are the ones that are working. Yeah. All right. So hands on, shall we? Again, because. One person can play a music with this. I need teamwork. <laughs> yeah. All right. Who would like to be, you know, play? Anyone would like to have hands on on an instrument? So can I, um, because I only have 14 of this. One, two, three, four. Um, yeah, seven notes, 14. My math is not too bad. Um, Okay. Um, the only thing is that I have doubles of everything except for B. Yeah, so B is alone. So can I have 14 players? Preferably. Yeah. Nah, they're unbreakable. Even if they're, even if they're broken, I'll not tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. You have A. Can you stand on the A position? <laughs> Thank you. You have a B. Thank you. B beside A. C. C. C beside B. D. D beside C. E. E beside D, F, anyone? Take it slow, take it slow, no rush. <laughs> there you go. And anyone else? G? We can start with one set. G, anyone G? I'll do it if no 
Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, okay. we, we're so shy. Hey. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right. Now that we have them lined up, oh, I can take a back seat now. <laughs> All right. I leave the floor to you. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. This is what I'm gonna do. Now we are gonna turn this alphabet notation into numerical notation. So we're gonna call her the first player one. And you are? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's easy, as easy as just giving them hand signal. So let's say when I give one, so what you do, you give it a rattle. Right, okay. When we rattle, sorry, maybe I should explain it. it does, this always happens, it's okay, it's a common thing. When we hang, let's just hang it off our finger with a dominant hand, whichever is your dominant hand. If you are a left hander, Long tube um, facing your dominant hand. If you're right hander, long tube facing your right hand. Okay? So with your dominant hand, hold on to the base. Okay. And then give it a shake from left to right quickly. Yeah. Hear that? Good. Yeah. Give it a powerful shake. Don't be shy. Um, not front and back, but left and right. Good, good. All right, let's try one. Four. Good. Five. Excellent. What do you think? I think they, uh, yeah, they deserve an applause. Well done. Now, let's see if they are alert enough by changing our, you know, instead of going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we'll just, um, you know, as and when I change the finger. <laughs> That's why I'm not playing, I'm sitting here. <laughs> this is the fun part. <laughs> okay, let's do. Good. I was looking at you, but that's not seven. <laughs> I was just <laughs> trying to trick you. Sure. You're seven. <laughs> that's right. Okay, let's try again. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, I'm trying to trick you. Anyone would like to take over my position? We want to give it a try. Who would like to, um, you know, take over the co the, the conductor? Yeah, it's really simple. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a rattle. Seven is really funny. I would do it that way. Okay. Okay. Right. Sure. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
It's going to be a slow tune. And this is, I think, this is one. I should join one. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> quarter of an hour to go so that's good because I've prepared a song to teach all of us to share with you it's an Indonesian song and we could potentially play this song with the angkongs okay the title of the song is Rasa Sayang um, and that's the translation there I've got that loving feeling hey now this is traditionally an Indonesian folklore and um, folk song folk song and um, it is commonly sung also in Malaysia and in Singapore we teach the little children that song so that's how it goes it goes like this rasa sayang hey rasa sayang sayang hey hey lihat nona dari jago rasa sayang hey is it enough? is it enough? good so again all right so it's rasa sayang hey, rasa sayang sayang hey, hey lihat nona dari jauh rasa sayang sayang hey. The meaning of it is I've got that loving feeling hey, I've got that loving feeling hey. See that girl in the distance? I've got that <laughs> loving feeling hey. Okay. Shall we all learn the song? And then after we learn the song, we can get um. Again, volunteers to come up to play on Anklong using the numerical notation. Three, four, five, five, one, seven, six, five, five, three, four, five, seven, six, six, five, four, three, five, one, three, two, four, seven, two, one. <laughs> All right, let's learn the song first. I sing a line and you repeat the line. Okay? Um, is this the button? It's not a button. Hey? Sorry. <laughs> Is this a pointer? Here we go. Oh, yeah. thank you. Okay, so first line. Rasa sayang. Hey, your turn. Rasa sayang. Rasa sayang sayang. Hey. Rasa sayang sayang. Hey. 
Hey, had no nada rijao. Hey, had no nada rijao. Last line. Rasa sayang sayang hey. Rasa sayang sayang hey. Two lines at a time. Rasa sayang hey. Rasa sayang sayang hey. Your turn. Rasa sayang hey. Rasa sayang sayang hey. Hey, we had no nada rijao sayang sa. Can, sorry, I'm just gonna skip this rasa here. It makes it easier to sing. We had no nada rijao sayang sayang hey. You get what I mean? It's too fast. So we had no nada rijao sayang sayang hey. Got it? Your turn. We had no nada rijao sayang sayang hey. Let's put the whole song together. Rasa sayang hey, rasa sayang sayang hey, hey lihat no nada rijao, rasa sayang sayang hey. Got it? Excellent. Well done, you. Very good. On your own, own without me? Yes. Okay. On your own. Can you sing on your own? Ready? At a count of four. One, two. Ready? Go. Oop. Sayang, sayang, hey. Wow, give yourself a round of applause. Well done, I think. <laughs> Good, isn't it? <laughs> oh, my daughter is at the back. I think she recognized that song. <laughs> she learns it. They, 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 we get kids to learn it in school. Yeah. In Singapore, because we're very multicultural, so over there we've got the Chinese, Malays, Indians, and Caucasians all living together. So we make sure that we put all of this um, cultural songs into our curriculum in school. Oh, um, my background is a school teacher. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we do in school. All right, without further ado, let's move on. Can I have volunteers um, to come out and play Rasa Sayang? Anyone brave enough? Can oh come on it's just number <laughs> Signal for you to get ready, and then this stroke here is no play. Okay. Not ready. Yeah. Okay. Ready. Seven, two, oh, 
Like, yeah. <laughs> this is a music video. Ready? your attendance. Now if you are interested, these are the references that you can um, take a look if you like. And also before you go off, I have an announcement to make. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to try to convince you to come to our Gamelan um, activity on the 3rd of December. It is free admission, but kind donation is welcome. <laughs> the, the event is, is Discover Gamelan, basically. I'm a member of Gamelan um, group that was here last Saturday. I, were, you, did you, were you here to listen to our music? It was really great, I think. <laughs> so we have one more coming up on the 3rd of December, okay? In that, um, it's 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock. During then, we will have a performance for participants. And then after performance, we have a hands-on session where audiences are most welcome to come in to play the gamelan instruments, okay? And then um, also, we will have Indonesian cuisine, offer for sale. We, we need to cover costs somehow. <laughs> yeah. And the place where this is um, taking place is at Yours Cafe. You know that old, the Asian restaurant on Moray Place? Now it's called Yours Cafe. Yeah, so that cafe fair is there on that day itself uh, as well on sale. So you're most welcome to come join us. It's free admission. So come, okay? And you have a hands-on session, and there's food here as well, okay? All right, thank you so much. You've been really wonderful audience. I think you should give yourself a round of applause, really. Very good, thank you. Have any questions for Wendy? Mm. Yes, now with traditional instruments, that's a good question. Um, being an ethnomusicologist that I've done research on traditional instruments, a lot of times these instruments are made by villagers who are, have been doing this for years, over and over again. They're just dependent on their hearing to, to, to tune the instrument. And that's why I'm saying it's not perfect, and it's relatively peach. It's really got to do with the person who is making the instrument. In fact, um, you will also notice that the, although the, like this tool may be of the same note as D, they might not necessarily sound the same. The subtly different. Yes, mm. a micro tune. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the question. Mm. Any other questions? 
I'd just like to thank Wendy. I was amazed how beautiful the sound was, especially when we had that orchestra. It had a real yeah. tonation, yes, and I thought it would be much orchestra. more bland. It was just beautiful. So thank you so much for coming along, and I think we enjoyed playing the instruments. We can tell people we now can play Indonesian instruments. So thank you very much, <laughs> thank Wendy. You. not make sound without wonderful players <laughs> and musicians. Well done, you all. Well done. Give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And you're most welcome to stay back and um, have a go on the instrument. Thank you.